Revelation 14. And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the Mount Zion, and with him an hundred forty and four thousand having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. And they sung, as it were, a new song before the throne, and before the four beasts, and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. These are they which follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto God and to the Lamb. Hey, Shalom. Our praises to you, How Bashem. Yahweh Shai, Bashem, with Kakadash. A much mercy to you, sincere brothers out there, the true house of David. And, um,. To all you believers out there, may the Lord continue to have mercy on you and to uh, keep you growing in the Lord's grace um, that are with him in these days. And shalom to all you false prophets, you false brethren that are partially teaching our people, leading them in the way of unto destruction. Because if you're not with the Lord right now, um, you will not be with the Lord when he comes back. You see? Uh, if you're a purchased possession, um, I want to go over this. Me and the brothers going over this yesterday. But if you're a purchased possession, that means that you're already bought, that you're already paid, that you're, you're already a possession of somebody. So the lamb's wife, uh, just as the breakdown of revelations that we went over going into the bride the bride is a purchase uh, uh, um, possession of the Lord in these days this is what you have to understand the the, the, the possession of the, the Lord's uh, wife the elect they were already bought. They were redeemed from the earth. Revelations 14 and 3. And they sung as it were a new song before the throne, before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the 140 and 4,000 which were redeemed from the earth. They were redeemed goes into buy. So they've been bought for already. It wasn't no partial payment. Uh, the Lord is not partial like you niggas. The terms of down payment don't apply to Yahweh Shai in the election. The election belong unto Yahweh Shai. Therefore, they're going to be in agreement right now. There's nothing the elect are waiting on. The election have obtained it. And the rest of you, you goddamn dumbasses out there, you're going to be blind. You're blinded. The elect are purchased possession of the Lord, so they won't be of the world. So if you're of the world and you have a place in the world, you're not a purchased possession. You're of the you're of the world. Therefore, that's why the world hears you. So the 144,000, they were redeemed. It says these were they were not defiled with women, for they were virgins. And so guys read this scripture and then they don't understand that. To be defiled with women in the ways of philosophies, you and these fucking wide gates uh, with these with these groups. These are women because they are defiling the word. So if you're in these groups, you're defiled with women because they have a philosophy of of the, the Lord ain't here now. You got to wait till he come to be in the covenant with him. There's no grace for you goddamn assholes that's teaching false doctrine. That's false doctrine. The elect were already deemed they were bought back. Like the Lord told Jeremiah, he knew him in the wound. Who he doesn't know is you niggas on the street. That's teaching. Um, you're not in the covenant with the Lord right now. You need new bodies and all that stupid shit guys is teaching. 
all this bullshit you guys are teaching just for uh, views and clout of the world. That's why you're of the world and the world hears you. Who's viewing you? The world is viewing you. <laughs> it's crazy, man. So the, the lamb, the 144,000, they were redeemed. They were bought. And if you'll purchase possession, you're going to move like you'll purchase possession. You're not going to move like you're of the world. It's crazy, man. It says, these are they which will not defile with women. They are virgins. It said, these are they which follow the lamb whatsoever he go off. And, and when you follow the lamb wherever he goes, that means you're going to be in, in his agreement. Wherever you're at, you're going to be in his agreement. You don't have to wait on anything. All that fucking false doctrine you guys are teaching, bro. <sighs> These were redeemed. That goes redeemed again from among men. So the 144,000 are redeemed in this time right now. It's nothing they're waiting on. It says being the first fruits unto God and unto the lamb. And in their mouth was found no gal. For they are without fault before the throne. Why? Because they're redeemed of the Lord. If you're not redeemed of the Lord in his time, then you're found with fault. Luke 6 and 38. Blessed be the Lord, power Israel, for he have visited and redeemed his people. So the elect in this time is the one that are going to be redeemed in this time. The rest of our people, they're not going to make it on this side. So the ones that's not going to make it, guess what? They're not with the Lord right now. They're waiting. <laughs> you see? Their doctrine is they're waiting on the Lord to come with the covenant. That's the most stupidest shit ever. And just because guys are not of the Lord, they're not, they're not of the spirit like that. So they can't believe in the covenant right now because it's not for them. But you have to recognize if you're, of, if you're of God and repent. That's what you have to do and avoid all these fucking... Uh, wide gates and broad paths because these camps and these groups they're defiled with the world they're of the beast crazy man Relations 5 and 9 and they sung a new song thou art worthy to take the book and upon the seals thereof for thou was slain and has redeemed us to God by the blood of every kindred and every tongue and every people and nation. So the Lord has redeemed us back unto him in this time. He has purchased us back. Galatians 3 and 13. Yahweh Shai have redeemed us from the curse of the law. So we don't have this don't have nothing to do with the law of Moses. All you guys that, that keep the pass or whatever you think you're doing, that's not, uh, you don't have to do that under Yahweh Shai. That's not a commandment of Yahweh Shai. Now, you could keep, you could do what you want, but even the heathens, these Edomites, they keep that old Passover too. So, a lot of you guys are just, you're just still in a carnal mind. You can't advance to the spirit. Because your mind is just so still carnal. And uh, a lot of you guys, man, I ain't going to lie. A lot of you guys teaching the new covenant. We see you guys, man. A lot of you guys are not right, really. You're really not right. You're really not right, bro. It is heavy. We see every last one of you guys, bro. A lot of you guys need to repent. And a lot of you guys are fucking like double O agents. You're, 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 you're siding with camps and you say you're in a new covenant. You got a bunch of double-minded motherfuckers in these last days. A lot of them in the new covenant. A lot of them in these camps. A lot of you guys are not walking a narrow path, man. You're of the world. That's why I say for all you believers of the new covenant, don't think of this as nothing or no group or no fucking... Um, don't try to follow no man, man. You have to repent and get to the Lord on your own. Because what guys are doing in these last days, they're they're saying they're teaching the new covenant, but then they on other guys' comment boards, uh, 
like they're friends and shit, bro. You, you got double mighty men all in this truth. Double O agents and shit. That's why we say, man, a lot of you guys in the new covenant, man, you're not right at all. And a lot of you guys, too, I am going to say this. A lot of you guys just come out of left field, uh, putting your name and face on shit, saying you're this and you're that and you're this. And a lot of you guys ain't even feeding the sheep. Putting your name and your face on something that really don't even belong to you guys. Just look how you move. Galatians 3 and 13. Yahweh Shai have redeemed us. That means he, he bought us back. And then this time only the 144,000 will redeem. It says Yahweh Shai redeemed us from the curse of the law being made a curse for us. It is written, curse is everyone that hang up from a tree. So Yahweh Shai uh, bought us back. He redeemed us. He didn't down payment a goddamn thing. You don't see the, the term down payment in the scriptures, so I don't see why guys are using that shit. This is because you guys are reprobates. These camps are reprobate right now. Because uh, one thing, too, guys' countenance don't look too good, man. They, they, yo, you guys don't look too good in these camps, man. You guys probably doing coke and all that shit. You probably have fucking... <laughs> Guys probably taking drugs, man. It's, it, the guys don't look too good, man. For real. So the best thing to do in these days is to uh, get to the Lord on your own, man. Not to be around no fucking groups. You know, don't be around no groups or guys self-proclaiming -pro themselves. Cause guys about is just lukewarm. They're not even feeding the sheep. They're just guys come out of left field, putting their face and their name on something. Really, they didn't even uh, fucking help build. They're not help building a goddamn thing. A lot of guys, like I say, you got guys double minded. It's crazy, man. They say they're in the new covenant, but they're siding. They're they're. It's just crazy, man. Guys are siding with the enemy and shit, bro. Hey, you guys ain't right like a motherfucker. <sighs> yeah, a lot of you guys are just naked too, man. You're naked. You, uh, we see you guys shame too. And a lot of you guys are not the purchased possession of the Lord. You're not. So you just got to be able to see that. The, the the new covenant is a narrow path which you have to walk in of yourself. And it's good. A lot of brothers is waking up to the new covenant and they recognize that these camps ain't right. Yeah, that's good. But the the what else comes out of that is what the Lord said. The kingdom of heaven is like a net that's gathering every type, every fucking kind right now. Every type and kind of uh, of of person is figuring out that these camps ain't right. They're coming out of these camps, but everybody's not repenting. So you got every type of guy that is teaching the new covenant right now. All types of guys is teaching the new covenant. It, it is it is crazy, but uh, that is what's happening. So the Lord had purchased us us already. We are a, a purchased uh, possession by the Lord. So basically, how do you know that a guy is not a purchased possession? His main thing is, is is not glorifying the Lord. What guys is teaching about it? If guys are teaching this shit about these elders so much, and then they say they teach a new covenant, if guys ain't even coming out the scriptures, man, you have to write guys off in these last days because a lot of guys, they say they're teaching a new covenant, but they have an ulterior fucking motive. They really do. 1 Corinthians uh, 6 and 19, what ye know, not that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not of your own. Ye were bought with a price. Right, so the Lord bought us already. When the Lord redeemed us, he redeemed the first fruits, the 144,000. So we were bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. So, so. 
if you're really of the Lord, you're going to be glorifying him in your body, bro. Not trying to have a, a place in the world. You're going to be teaching your how shy. That's why the Lord told Peter to feed his sheep. And we see guys don't like to feed the sheep. You see, they just like to put their name and face on things. And the Lord sees you and we see all you motherfuckers, bro. All you false prophets of the new covenant and all you false prophets in these camps. To you few brothers out there that are teaching new covenant and you sincere and you really glorifying the Lord in your body. Um, you have to see what's happening in these last days, man. Don't be unequally yoked with unbelievers. You got all types of unbelievers and guys that are lukewarm in the middle dealing with this truth. So the Lord said, we were bought with a price. Therefore, glorify the Lord, what? In our body. So the lamb's wife in this time will be glorifying him in her body. You see? So it's very heavy in this time. Sirach so 25 and 1. In three things I was beautified and stood up beautiful, both before God and men. The unity of brethren, the love of neighbors, a man and a wife that agree together. You see that? So the love, the Lord loves a man and a wife agreeing together. In this case, us agreeing with the lamb. So basically, if you're not agreeing with the lamb right now, if you're not in the covenant right now, that means you're not agreeing with the lamb right now. You're the world like a motherfucker. In so many ways uh, to look at how guys are not in the spirit and they're not of God. All you guys of the new covenant and of all you guys in these camps. Sirach 25 and 8, it says, Well is him that dwelleth with a wife of understanding, that have not slipped with his tongue, and that have not served a man more unworthily than himself. Right, so being the bride of Yahweh Shai, we have understanding. And these are they that were redeemed. That means that we are worthy to uh, uh, to to glorify the Lord in our body. A lot of guys are not glorifying the Lord. They're just saying they're teaching the new covenant, but they're not glorifying the Lord. Man, you have a lot of false brethren out there, bro. It is heavy. So rack of 40 and 23, a friend and a companion never meet amiss, but above both is a wife with her husband. Whoo! So only thing mattered in this time if you're with Yahweh Shai, if you're married to the lamb. <sighs> a lot of guys, they're not married to the lamb right now. That's why they're in a reprobate spirit out there on the street. Out there on the street telling our people they're waiting on the covenant. So if you're not with the Lord right now, you're not pleasing the Lord. You're not married to the Lord. You're just a whore on the street. Man, it is heavy what's going on. Um, Isaiah 61 and 10, it says, I rejoice greatly in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my power for he hath clothed me with the garments of salvation. So when you're redeemed, you're clothed with the with the uh, garments of salvation. When you're when you're bought back, when you're redeemed back already, uh, it's nothing you're waiting on. All you have to do is just glorify the Lord, like you're that purchased possession. That's why guys are not; they haven't been bought back. That's why they deny the Lord, because the Lord didn't buy their ass. That's why guys are not glorifying the Lord. Guys are more focused on these fucking elders. Then they're focused on um, 
breaking down Yahweh Shai and teaching, teaching his commandments and teaching the Lord and glorifying him. You got a bunch of reprobates in the new covenant, man. You do. It's a lot of reprobates. It's good you guys are teaching, but but like the Lord said, the kingdom of heaven is this word is gathering all types of motherfuckers, man. You just got to be able to see through the real. And a lot of guys are going to cling to the, the carnal side of it. You know, it's not it's it's good the new covenant is being taught, but it's another thing. It's it, you, I mean, we're happy the new covenant is being taught, but a lot of guys that are teaching it, you got a lot of guys that are set up to bring confusion. Double O agents. They they say they teach the new covenant, but then they're they're watching camps. You see? They're friends with fucking camp still. That's heavy, man. <laughs> Isaiah 61 to 10. I will rejoice greatly in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my power, for he have clothed me with the garments of salvation. He have clothed, he have covered me with the robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decketh himself, her, himself with ornaments. And as a bride adorning herself with jewels, right? The Lord have blessed us in these times and clothed us with the garments of salvation and righteousness. The righteousness of Yahweh Shai, that's what makes you immortal. So you don't need a fucking, um, you don't need a, 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 a immortal body to be in agreement with the Lord. All you false prophets out there, man. It is heavy, bro. Yeah, it is heavy what's happening in these days, bro. So what you have to do uh, in these times is get to the Lord on your own. Uh, Ephesians 1. And uh, 13, it says, In whom ye trusted after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. That's all you have to do is believe. It's just, it's just that simple. You have to repent and believe, and then you'll be sealed. But what we what well, what's going on in this time is that you have guys are set up to get you not to believe in the covenant right now because the Lord didn't purchase they as because if the Lord purchased they as they'll be telling you uh, to to repent because they were bought back. But guys haven't been bought back. You will see a whole totally different spirit. That's why the Lord does not want to heal everybody, man. Ephesians 1 and 14, it says, which is the earnest of our inheritance into the redemption of the purchased possession unto the praise of his glory. Right. So the Lord have redeemed us. We are a purchase uh, possession. We are the, the bride's wife, like the scripture tell you in Revelations. Come and I show you. The bride's wife. Revelations 21 and 9. And there came unto me one of the seven angels which had the seven vows full of the seven last plagues and talked with me saying, right. So this is right at the end. Now, the bride is being shown. It's being shown who's of the Lord and who's not. You have to be able to see that. It's not just because guys are teaching the new covenant. They're the lamb's wife. You have to see how guys are moving in the new covenant because a lot of guys teaching it, bro. They're of the world. Of the world, 
You got a couple guys that are that are sincere, but a lot of guys have an arterial motive. You got double O agents everywhere. <laughs> it's, it's heavy, bro. It says, come hither. I will show thee the bride and the lamb's wife. So within these last seven plagues, everything is being shown. Even the, the Lord's, the lamb's wife. This is what's happening in this time. And a lot of guys, too, what's so heavy about this is a lot of guys, they do not really understand what they're doing. They don't, they don't really understand this truth like that all the way. They don't understand the new covenant all the way. Because if you're in the new covenant and you're really in it, it's not really just teaching it. It's a certain way you're going to be handling it. The Lord gave Peter a commandment. He said, feed my sheep. He said, I'd rather you be hot or cold. A lot of you guys are in the middle, man. That's good the new covenant is going out, but a lot of you guys don't even have the heart for the new covenant. A lot of you guys, too, what I see is too, and and it's and and rightfully so, these elders in these camps, they're getting their judgment. They're getting their ass handed to them by the through the spirit. But what you guys gotta remember that this is about you repenting and glorifying the Lord in your body because you were bought with a price. You got to keep that in your mind frame first because a lot of guys that's teaching this new covenant, they're only teaching it because they're getting back at camps. All right? You got to understand that too. And I'm not following guys like that. Guys like that, that's that's they're only in it for an ulterior motive. And then they're not even really repenting. Their whole thing is, oh, I told you so. I told you to do covenant. And then their, their ass ain't even doing the work like that. But they're like, oh, I told you new covenant's going to do this and do that. But all the time, your ass is lukewarm, though. It's, it's heavy, man. It's heavy than a motherfucker. Second edge is uh, 2 and 42. This is what guys are doing. Guys are coming into other men's labors talking about, oh, I told you so, and this is going, I told you New Covenant is doing this. Guys are lukewarm than a motherfucker. And a lot of guys are not right. That's why this is a narrow path. This ain't no group thing. If you're not good in the spirit, you're not good. You may be good with people, but if you're not repenting unto the Lord, you're not the Lord, you're not the Lamb's wife. Definitely these camps, they're not the Lamb's wife. Second Edges 2 and 42, I Edges saw upon my Zion a great people who I could not, uh, Salaki, I could not number. And they all praise the Lord with songs. And that's what you're supposed to be doing, glorifying the Lord, breaking him down, making men understand the covenant. You see? And in the midst of them was a young man of a high stature, taller than all of the rest. And upon every one of their heads, he set crowns. So going back to Revelations, what I read yesterday, Yahweh Shai, he had those crowns. And we have those crowns too. The lamb's wife. And was more exalted, which I marveled at greatly. So I asked the angel and he said, sir, what are these? He answered and said unto me, these be they which have put off the mortal clothing. So what's part of the mortal clothing? Being of the world, having cloud in this world, being honored of this world, being loved of the world, having a following of the world, the, the mortal clothing, putting the Lord off. In order to have this world, you have to put the Lord off. You have to disregard the Lord. <laughs> you see these, you see that? That's why guys can't be with the Lord right now. There's all types of excuses. It says, these be they who have put off the mortal clothing. They put off the world. All right. They don't have no high seats here. The, the true bride of the Lord. They, they are what you consider as nobodies. 
It says, and put on the immortal and have confessed the name of God, and they will crown and they will crown and receive palms. You see that? So they put on the immortal. How do they how do they put on the immortal? Well, I'll show you how they put on the immortal. Yahweh Shai is eternal. John chapter 3, verse 15. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. That whosoever believeth in them pertaining unto Israel right now is did this is dealing with the elect right now. And who believes in Yahweh Shai right now? But it's, it's pertaining to the elect. Whosoever believes in the Lord right now that purchased possession. It says, for the Lord so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. So all you have to do is believe in the Lord. That's immortality right there. That's immortal. That's being immortal. John 6 and 54, whoso eat of my flesh and drink of my blood have eternal life and I will raise him up in the last day. That is being immortal. So you guys are not being raised up in this last day. All right. I'm going to grab one more. So we're proving time after time that these camps, they're false prophet camps. All right. With no understanding. Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 15. For righteousness is immortal. So when you put on Yahweh Shai. When you agree with him in that covenant. You become immortal. Because your righteousness becomes eternal. Because you have the righteousness of Yahweh Shai. So the bride is the only ones that are redeemed. That are with the Lord. They are his purchased possession. So if you're not in the covenant with the Lord, you're not a purchased possession. Plain and simple. It don't matter how much you stand on the fucking street. If you're not in the covenant with the Lord right now, you're not a purchased possession. All right. If you're not repenting and if you're not moving like a purchased possession, too, that's another thing. Because you got all these guys say they're teaching new covenant. But are you moving like a purchased possession? Are you glorifying the Lord in your body or are you just. And it's just to go to war with camps. Second so Edges 2 and 46. Then said the angel, what young person is it that crowneth them and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, it is the son of power whom they have confessed in the world. Right. We confessing that we are in agreement with the Lord right now. We are confessing that we are the lamb's wife. We are confessing that the covenant is here right now. Nobody else is confessing that like that. You groups ain't confessing that. So you don't have nothing to do with this. A bunch of goddamn rejects in these camps. All you motherfuckers, bro, it's crazy. And a lot of you guys, if you don't repent the new covenant, man, you're a bunch of fucking rejects too, man. And I see it, I see it too. And you know who you are. <laughs> You know, you, you guys know exactly who you are. But you guys in these camps, you're through. It says, so he answered and said unto me, it is the son of power whom they have confessed in the world. And they began greatly to command, to commend them that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. Right. This is standing stiffly, bro. Teaching the new covenant, being hated and threatened and all everybody hating you. This is standing so stiffly, bro. You guys on the street, you're just standing out there. <laughs> but you're not standing for the Lord in the new covenant right now. So this don't this ain't pertaining to you guys in these groups. Then the angel said unto me, Go thy way, tell my people what manner of things and how great wonders of the Lord thy power thou hast seen. So the lamb's wife. It's a purchased possession. 
And if you're that purchased possession, you're going to move like it. And with that, a shallow one, repent. Shallow one.